Oh, that's a lot of pages. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get through it all. We can each take a section. Here. La Pouillade, L'Endroit, Jean-Belle, Aurel. Oh, yikes. That Aurel guy has a huge scar on his face. He's kind of giving Pime on the creeps. Ah, I've met him before. The scar is from an injury he received during a mission. <laughs> I still remember him joking with me about it. He said any future lover would take one look at him and then lose all interest. Did he say anything else? Well, I asked if there was someone he was interested in. He said no, and that's where our conversation ended. It was only later that I learned he really did have someone he liked. He risked everything to escape so he could be with her, but... It didn't work. One day, Father asked to see him. And, well... I never saw him again after that. Wait, so that means... The knave, she... It may seem cruel, but it's just one of the rules of the house. Betrayal is not to be taken lightly. We know too many secrets to come and go as we please. So, if you do try to leave, you pay with your life. Her name's not here, huh? Well, that's not too surprising. It doesn't seem like this list is complete. It only contains records dating back around five years. Let's shift our attention, then. Fremini, were you able to find anything out? <sighs> Fremini... Uh, uh, sorry. I was thinking about something. I managed to talk to quite a few people, but I couldn't help but notice that the atmosphere in the house was a little... strange. Strange. Yeah, I mean, I know there have been arguments in the past, times when people haven't gotten along. Chaplo and Filial are a good example of that. Oh, those are two of the people that we met while delivering supplies. Paimon can see how they might not get along. They had very different vibes and their, um, interests seem to be pretty different as well. That's to be expected, actually. Father brought us all here, shared her knowledge with us, taught us how to fight. That's one thing we all share. But that's also where the similarities end. Not all of us feel the same desire to stay here. As members of the House of the Hearth, we're also considered part of the Fatui. And to a lot of people, that's an identity they never asked for. Certain members get older and realize they want something else for themselves. But considering the rules of the house, most people would never say that out loud. People like Chaplot and Foltz are loyal to Father and her vision. They're proud to be part of the Fatui. Filial and Nantoy, on the other hand, well, they aren't quite as enthusiastic. These kinds of conflicts have always been there. It's not like Father is in the dark about any of this. Well, that's true. But it just feels like things have gotten worse lately. Filial and the others... It seemed like they were meeting in secret to talk about something. I can't say for sure, but I think they've met Clairvy. You think she's been inciting them to act out? No, not exactly. But I wouldn't be surprised if she said something to them about... the darkness in the house, and how deep it runs. She's told me about it before. It 
experiments being run on children. People being used as pawns on the battlefield without so much as the strength to survive. And they just believed all that? Without any evidence? Clarivy's words probably gave them the excuse they were looking for. Whether they actually believe them to be true is secondary. <sighs> this is all because of Project Stuja, isn't it? Whoa, 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 hold on a second. What's this Project Stuja all about, huh? This is the second time it's come up now. Sorry, but I'm not sure of the details either. I only know what Father has told us, which is that it's something the Rooster and Regrader have been working on together. Apparently, it has to do with the Fatui's strategic plan for the future. Because the House of the Hearth was so successful in obtaining the Gnosis, we now have the honor of playing a key role in Project Stuja. Wait, but isn't that a good thing? Key role is just another way of saying dangerous role. To us, the whole thing is an inconvenience. Father thinks so too, but she's in no position to refuse. Their plan isn't exactly unreasonable, and they've been funneling the house a lot of funding. It's just that... we'll lose a lot of members in the process. Participating in the plan... it's an honor in name only. What they're really trying to do is subdue us. The existence of an intelligence organization outside their control makes them feel uneasy. Okay, super complicated top secret Fatui business aside, what does all of this have to do with the conflicts you were talking about earlier? Paimon doesn't get the connection. External pressure has a way of exacerbating internal strife. You can't overlook the power of fear, either. People are afraid of dying. And that fear is often the impetus for a lot of stupid decisions. I thought resolving the Clairvy situation would make everything go back to normal. But it looks like things are more complicated than I thought. If we leave Filiol and the others to their own devices, Sooner or later, Father will be forced to take action. We can only focus on one situation at a time, brother. You're right. Even if we confront Filial and the others, it won't do any good. It might even make matters worse. We should focus on Clairvy for now. Well, it's getting late. We should head back and get some rest. We'll try again first thing tomorrow. Lynette, you stick with me this time. Fremine, keep a close eye on Filial and the others. Make sure they don't do anything they'll regret. Good work today, everyone. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>